Rattlebone Jones. I'm wearing red tonight. I don't usually wear red, but I'm, I'm wearing red for my friend, my friend Scott Sinclair, who's my college roommate. And I, don't, I, I feel that I will be holding back from the Spillet community unless I tell you about my friend and getting back tonight's theme. We used to uh, sit in uh, our dorm room and stare at the ceiling and wonder what kind of responsible adults we grew up to be contributing to society. And nobody has done more in the state of Georgia for getting back than my friend Scott Sinclair. Scott Sinclair is a professional get back man. And if any of you have ever seen a football game on TV, they have a white line that goes along the sidelines. It's thick. And the players and the coaches are supposed to stand behind it. And there is a guy who does this. Get back! Get back! Get back. <laughs> because if the official's running down the field and he runs into a player, it's a penalty. If the coach runs out on the field, it's a penalty. And my friend gets paid a quarter of a million dollars <laughs> to stand behind his boss, who gets paid $7.5 million and has the temperament of a four-year-old and runs out on the field all the time. So my friend, has his boss on national television on an actual leash. <laughs> and his belt is tied to another grown ass man's belt. <laughs> like this. And he holds back this famous coach that all these people look up to as a role model and goes like this. Get back, get back, get back. And he pulls his boss back. And so I was, uh, you know, I followed my friend's career. And when he's on television, I, you know, I, I, I root for him. And sometimes they, he comes up to Memphis to play in the Liberty Bowl or comes to Oxford. And uh, he, he comes over for dinner one night and uh, my neighbor is the sweetest uh, southern woman, extraordinary. And she meets my friend from Georgia. And you, you find out a lot about a southern woman, by who she roots for. Because I never do in my whole life. And he said, yeah, I coach, you know, for Georgia. And she looked up at him through the tops of her eyes. And she said, ooh, dog. Sick em. Woof, woof, woof. Just like that. He was like, yes, ma'am. Go dogs. And then they, they kind of barked at each other some more when we left. <laughs> and so we were, we were rooting for Scott, and they got all the way to the national championship game where they played the, uh, the Alabama Crimson Tide for the national championship. And everything went right for Georgia in the first half. And everybody's like, I've never seen Alabama take such a whipping. Who saw this coming? And we were cheering for Scott. They were ahead by like three touchdowns. And there was no way. There was no way they were going to blow this. But then the leash broke. <laughs> and the coach ran out too far on the field. And just when Alabama was totally finished, 15-yard penalty for not getting back. Alabama made the most of it, and they scored. And then everybody was jumping around, and too many players came up. And he was trying to hold back the coach because he didn't have a leash. He was using his actual hand on the belt. And too many players came up behind him. And they didn't get back. And it happened again. Two penalties. Alabama came back 
It went to overtime, and uh, they won. Alabama won. My friend has had to languish for five years knowing that if he could have just gotten those guys to get back, they'd have won it all. There's one rule at Spill It, true stories only, and you can all Google my friend Scott Sinclair, Georgia, get back coach, and laugh your ass off <laughs> at pictures of my friend holding back a grown ass man by his belt. But I'm, I'm getting ready for Spill It tonight. Come watch the best night of stories I've seen in years. Thank you all. And guess what? Yeah. Guess what? Um, Georgia's back. It's taken them five years, but they're number one. And they were up playing in Tennessee tonight, the other side of Tennessee. And he was holding them back. But I just want to say, I, I, hope, I hope he gets back all the way. And at least for another few weeks, go dogs. Woof, 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 sick. <laughs>